This is an intro. Who needs an intro? I don't need an intro. This is just a vape show. It's just a vape show. Vape show. Vape show. This is an intro. Who needs an intro? I don't need an intro. This is just a vape show. It's just a vape show. Vape show. Vape show. YouTube, what is up? I'm your homeboy, old boy Josh, back at you, and today we're going to do something a little bit scary. Scary for me, not so much for you, but scary for me because I've never done a juice review quite this big. We're reviewing not one, not two, not three, but four full lines of juice from one company. A total of 11 juices today. I've never done anything that big and I'm a little scared and I've been putting off this review for a while because it's daunting. It's like looking up at a monolith and knowing that it's going to crush you. We're going to get through it together. We're going to get started right away. But before we do, quick background story. This line was handed to me by an individual by the name of Darnell Brown over at Don Dada Vape Co. LLC. And it is the uh, Boss Life line. There's 100% Boss Life, 101% Boss Life, 102% Boss Life, and 103% Boss Life. Yeah. And I met this guy at Vape Mania, Vape Slam, whatever the most recent one was. I kind of get them confused in my head. And this dude with the, his hand was like wrapped in gauze, not the guy that made the juice, this other dude, his friend. His hand was wrapped in gauze. I'll never forget that because I kept trying to shake his hand, but it was his right hand, so it was kind of weird. Anyway, so he grabs me, introduces me to his buddy who had this backpack full of Ziploc bags full of juice. So he's trying to launch his, his company. And I've, I've been wanting to get to this review and want a smaller company getting started. I've been, you know, I, I love doing reviews like that, doing reviews of companies like that, especially when they have a line that appears to be pretty well put together. We're gonna dive right in because there's a lot to cover. Oh, and if you stick around to the end of this video, we're gonna have some behind the scenes, not behind the scenes really, but some, some bullshitting between me and Waffles. So it'll be fun. Rude boy, don't be rude. Boy with this blend of mango and light cream. Mm. On the nose, we got some mango, we got some cream. I can't really tell if it's a light cream or a heavy cream just yet, but we'll vape on it a bit. We'll figure it out. We're vaping on the Aeronaut today, and we've got a half staggered staple in here, four wraps and a three millimeter bit. Ohms out pretty low at about 0.1 ohms. I vape it at about 160 watts. Very tart on the mango, almost sour mango, like a possibly even like an underripe, like tangy mango. It's kind of natural, the mango. The nicotine is a little bit peppery. I feel like a little bit better nicotine would definitely help the juice a bit, give it a little more polish. Some people might not detect it so much, but I, I can definitely, I get the pepperiness of it. The flavors are solid. It's just the nicotine that's being used. Like the mango is really nice, it's tart, it's juicy. The cream underneath it, it's a light, light cream, um, it, it's nice. And even with the bit of pepperiness, the nicotine, it's a three milligram nick, so it's still very vapable, despite probably not having the best quality nick in there. Very nice clouds too. But the flavors are there, the flavors are very good, so. Just needs a little work. I feel like that's something that's pretty fixable. Next up, we've got Shada. Shada is a stimulating blend of ripe banana with a soft cream finish. Nanner, definitely bananer on the nose. Yes, I said banana. All these juices have this great like amber color. I love a nice amber colored liquid. Maybe it was just the mango that had that flavor because the banana is really clean. I'm not getting any kind of pepperiness. Just a nice, fresh banana and a very clean cream. I like banana vapes, always have. Waffles hates them. Hates when I vape them, I should say, because they uh, kind of have a weird smell to them sometimes. 
I always like them both. Very creamy, nice flavor. Fresh banana. Still has that little kick, that little bit of pepperiness in the nicotine, but the flavors are really, really nice. And the pepperiness, it's not that bad. I've had much, much worse, but I've had better. A very subtle banana, but pretty natural banana too. It's not runcy in the least. I don't like runts. Um, definitely more of a natural banana kind of person. It's good. It's very good. It's like you cut up a fresh banana, put it in like a bowl with cream and sugar. It's nice. Not a whole lot of sugar. It's not like a sugary sort of liquid or anything like that. Very natural. Ooh, fuck you. You're hot. Fuck you. Done. Delectable peach whipped in savory cream that will make an offer that you can't and won't refuse. I like the sound of that. I'm kind of excited. Peach can be really awesome. Peach can also really suck if you do it wrong. So we'll see. Oh, very childproof. Peach on the nose. For sure. That's like a peach rings kind of thing, like a candy peach rings kind of thing on the nose. Heavy like peach rings peach, like sugary candy peach rings. Mm, I don't know man. It's a little too candy peach for me. Not natural enough if you ask me. If you're really into like peach rings, like those donut peach rings kind of things, yeah that's what it reminds me of. It's good if you like peach rings, which I do. I don't feel like I could vape this all day long. I like the other two in the 100% line just a little bit better. I could vape that once in a while. I like that because it's tart and zing. Even right now, it's like it's sucking my, my cheeks together, you know? It's nice, it's refreshing. Moving into the 101% boss life. Rebel. Rebel in this strawberry lemonade blend with a real twist. Really get the lemonade on the nose, like a sugary, uh, subtle lemonade. I just caught some of the strawberry. Yes. Fuck yes. That's fucking delicious. Damn. That's the best lemonade vape of all time, ever, anywhere. That's amazing. Fuck. That's an all day vape. That's excellent. The strawberry is almost non-existent, which I kind of like because I'm not a big strawberry fan. And this is an excellent, excellent lemonade. Fantastic lemonade. Yes. Well done, sir. Well done. Fuck. Yeah, that's refreshing, it's tart, it, it's like fresh squeezed lemonade. It's fantastic. If there's a twist, I don't know what it is. It's almost limey, it's that, that good. It's like past lemon into lime, it's awesome. That doesn't make any sense, <laughs> I know. It's just really, really good. Best lemonade vape of all time. Yeah, Rebel, that's excellent. And I, I really like lemonade vapes, but that one, that one takes it. Hell yeah. Uh, I also noticed on that one that there's almost no uh, pepperiness to it. So it's kind of weird. I wonder if it's not the nicotine. Maybe it's the flavoring that was used in what, some of those other juices. Maybe something about the cream that was being used. I don't know. I have no idea. Something was peppery in those, in some of the 100% uh, the line, but nothing in the lemonade. This is Barnes. Barnes, a sweet blend of mango and grape finished with smooth, sweet custard. I don't know about that. I really don't. I'm kind of curious. I, I don't like grape vapes very much, and I can't imagine grape mixing with mango. I really can't. That just sounds weird. So we'll see what that's like. No. <laughs> that's just too weird. That's too weird. I don't like that at all. Uh, it's like you taste each flavor individually and none of them go together at all. It's like first it's the mango, then it's the grape, and then it's the custard at the end. It's so weird. <laughs> That's just odd. 
No. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, it tastes like you poured milk into orange juice. That's what it tastes like. That's so fucked up. <laughs> What's wrong with you? Why would you do that to someone? Oh, no. That's so bad. <laughs> Never again. Ugh. <laughs> Get the taste out of my mouth. Ugh. That's terrible. <laughs> it's so bad it's funny. Uh, what's next? We got uh, Moon. Are we into the 102%? That's not right. Did I miss one? Jakeo. I miss Jakeo. But I know which one it is because Waffles stole some. She, she liked the sound of... Shakeyo, a delicious blend of mango and strawberry with a fruity twist. Yes, Waffles stole some of this. Um, smells like something Waffles would like. <laughs> Don't like that either. Oh no, it's kind of perfumey. Kind of reminds me of orange Tic Tacs in a weird way. It's like a chalky kind of thing. It's it's just odd. I don't I don't I don't like it. <laughs> As I'm dripping more, I'm in a weird mood. Uh, all right, let's try that again. Give it another go. Why not? No, 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 no. Nope. So in the 101 percent line, there's one big winner and two big losers. Moon. Moon is simply blueberry. I hate blueberry vapes. Oh yeah, that smells. Yeah, that smells like a blueberry vape. <laughs> I hate them. Uh, the only reason is because I quit smoking uh, on blueberry and berry vapes. And I just vape them so much that I, I came to hate them. We'll see. That's odd. That's like a weird, weird blueberry. It's like a deep, deep, deep blueberry. Like if there was a blueberry that was that big, like a giant blueberry that was just gorging and purple and blue, and completely ripe, right at its peak. That's what that would taste like. Almost like blueberry syrup. I don't like it. No. I guess if you really like blueberry syrup, go for it, but uh, no. Not for moi. Sun. Sun is just apple. I like apple vapes. It's apple, but it's like a weird apple in the same way that the blueberry was kind of like a weird blueberry. I don't know how to describe it being weird, but it's weird, something odd about it. I, I kind of like it. It's almost like a, a lot of flavor. It's very sweet and it's refreshing. Flavor is kind of like a dried apple. You know what I mean? Like an apple that's been like preserved and it's like an apple jerky. <laughs> it's not an apple jerky, it's like a dried apple. That's what it's like. Very sweet, almost like an applesauce. Natural though, very natural apple. Not like biting into a fresh apple though. Eating applesauce or eating a preserved apple. I like it though, very mealy kind of apple. Absolutely, absolutely apple. <laughs> yeah, that's absolutely a win. Yeah, that's a win. Next up, Law, Law. Even John Wayne will approve this sweet caramel tobacco vape. I like the names in the 103% line. It's Law, Lawless, and Lost. I love that for some reason. John Wayne approves, huh? Ooh. That smells good and tobacco-y. I love a good tobacco vape. I really do. They're hard to find. You know, tobaccos, they don't taste like cigarettes at all. They just taste like leafy kind of tobacco. And it's, you know, it's mixed with car caramel. He likes to call it caramel, which is fine. 
And that's gonna be kind of like an RY4 kind of thing. I doubt it's going to disappoint. Heavy in the caramel, nice and toasty on the tobacco. Yeah, it's a win. That's definitely a win. Yeah, that's really nice. Really smooth, really delicious. A little spicy too. Leafy tobacco, the, the caramel is really gooey and like melty. Mm. I like that one. Yes. I feel like I'm going to hate Lawless. Lawless, a refreshing tropical island blend of strawberry, mango, and peach. I really do. Um, I feel like this is gonna be too much of a fruit cocktail. And I feel like the fruit cocktails in this lineup haven't really blown me away. Mmm, heavy on the mango, on the nose. I like mango. Very fruity, very refreshing. It's actually pretty good. Yeah, that's nice. It's chill, and it all kind of mixes together into like one sort of hybrid fruit cocktail thing. I'm not picking apart each juice individually. It just kind of blends all together into like a smoothie. I like that. Definitely predominantly peach and mango. Fresh. Uh, the peach isn't quite the donut peachiness that we had in the uh, that other juice. I forget which one it is. It's good. Mixes well together. Just don't accidentally drip law on top of it. Wow, that's weird. Okay, we're done with that. That was a strange mix of fruit cocktail and uh, tobacco and caramel. That was weird. So just because they're in the same line doesn't mean they're going to mix together. I'll tell you that right now. Would I say that Lawless is a complete win for me? Um, yeah, it's pretty good. It's well executed. I made it. Last one. I don't know what that is. It doesn't go into any more detail. I don't know what the fuck that is. It's a head scratcher. Somewhat tart. Peach. Banana. Definitely peach. So, of the 11 that we've had, we have six good vapes. I really like the Rude Boy. For the most part, it's a little bit peppery, but the flavors are there. I particularly like Shada from the 100% line. That was the best one out of that line. Definitely has some nice fresh banana, some good cream in there. It's very smooth, it's nice. We've got Rebel. Rebel is by far the best lemonade that I've ever had. If I had to pick one that was the absolute best out of this entire line, it's Rebel. Every single juice that sits before me on this table, Rebel's the best. Sun, really good apple if you like a mealy apple vape law it's really really good tobacco vape and lawless lawless is a good fruit cocktail um of my faves that's probably my least favorite but if i had to choose just one the rebel anyway guys till next time i'm your homeboy homeboy josh vape on vapors you gotta take two of that in you no okay Nah. You're People not. Are ugly. People say ugly things. Who said ugly things? Mm. You been reading my comments? Who? Oh. I don't give a fuck about him. I know you don't. I just it bothers me that people can be hateful. Yeah, people are dumb. He just wants attention. It's kind of cute that some of them just say it in the same thing in every video. One guy always likes to talk about my uh, my beard. And he calls it a uh, chin strap. Fuck boy chin strap. Oh, fuck boy. <laughs> you got fuck boy chin straps. <laughs> you look like a fuck boy. If you don't like it, why do you keep watching? I don't know. He watches every video though. I'm like, all right, thanks for contributing to my view count. I appreciate it. <laughs> Whatever. And every now and again, one of the people that watches tells him off. <laughs> it's very funny. Yeah, buddy. You do know when you watch, I'm getting fucking paid. Yeah, I know. Please start putting a comment. Always stay gracious, but your friend is your patron. You're so tight now and all the fucking hairs. Is that... I'm not quoting Beyonce in my shit. Why? Buddy. It's so good. I'll start quoting it. No. <laughs> I will. Mm. 
Mango and light cream, that's what I want, okay. That is rude boy. Rude boy! Makes me think of Rancid. In the band Rancid. Bitch! Okay. <laughs> I'm a Ruby Soho motherfucker. Rude boy! Oh, rude boys and hooligans! All right, shut the fuck up, please. Thank you. <laughs> Woman. Woman. Girl, bye. Girl, bye. Girl, bye. You just topped off your tank? Yeah, you can't even tell. Because it's the one without plastic on it. Yes, I'll know. I'll know. Take it. Cheers. You can stay, but you need to shut up. <laughs> on the nose we got some mango we got some cream very very heavy cream <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? I wasn't talking I wasn't talking <laughs> you're such a dick <laughs> you always stop talking you're dick I'm putting all of this in the video. I'm putting all of it in there. All of it. <laughs> You're such an asshole. You said don't talk. And then don't talk. I wasn't talking about You know, I never told you this before, but when you stand there, it picks up your reflection in chicken. I'm not clear enough to see anything. <laughs> clear enough that they'll be able to see you. <laughs> then you better delete that out. Nope, all going in there. Whole video. These are very recognizable. All of it. All going in there. No. Every bit. No. Every bit. Trouble. Every bit. Yeah, it's like a very tart, almost sour mango. Like a possibly even like an underripe, like tangy mango. It's kind of natural, the mango. The, uh... What did you call it a tango? <laughs> <laughs> You're such a dick. What the fuck? Tangy mango, tango. Come on, boy. Putting all of this in the video. <laughs> all of it. No. All of it. Yeah. Shut up. 